If you play on PS4 or have a PS4 account, you need to watch the entirety of this video because we're going to be talking about things that directly impact us as a community. Because as you can see, uh, over there, I have the little asterisk in front of my name. I do play on PC now, but I am originally a console player. And regardless of what platform you're on, if you have a PlayStation account, this affects you. Let's just get right into it, though. With update Starfighters came a lot of new content and fixes to War Thunder. Overall, from what I've seen so far, it does actually look to be a pretty good update. I haven't actually had a chance to play it much myself, but the new content seems like it's going to help a lot in terms of content distribution to nations that have been sorely needing new vehicles. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. The issue we want to look into is the one caused by the introduction of the crossplay feature to PS4 accounts. This doesn't affect Xbox, just for anybody who might be confused. The crossplay essentially is PlayStation can now play with not only PC, which they've been able to do for I'm not exactly sure how long, but quite a while, but you can now also play with Xbox, which is a good thing, and I'm glad to see that it's coming to War Thunder. However, I'm sure a lot of you may know what I'm about to talk about. For those of you who logged in today and saw that, is zero golden eagles and yesterday that number was not zero well the long story short is due to the crossplay being added golden eagles can no longer be spent if you're a playstation account anywhere but on playstation so if you don't have your playstation anymore and you had golden eagles you can't spend them unless you find a way to get onto a ps4 you also can no longer use premium account time that you unlock from, let's say, some pack that you buy on the PlayStation Store. That premium time will only be usable on PlayStation. However, if you buy it with GE on your PlayStation, you can still use that on PC. And anything that you've bought prior to this, you're not gonna lose access to that. So all of your premium vehicles and stuff are still yours. You don't have to play on your PS4 to use that stuff. This is more just GE related. However, all that being said, and echoing the point that I just kind of brought out, if you don't have access to a PS4 anymore, you will be completely unable to buy or even receive Golden Eagles. So forget those wagers or that tournament that you had signed up for because you, the GE is useless. You can't use it unless you have access to that console. Even I, granted, I'm able to request stuff from Gaijin, so this doesn't really affect me directly, but it still does because not everybody can do that. And I understand that. I've been in that position where if it wasn't for the fact that I was able to do that, which I'm very, very lucky to have that privilege, I would be shit out of luck for lack of better words and I would have to use my PS4 which if I didn't have that I don't know what I would do I would be completely unable to spend the 7,000 golden eagles that I had in my account yesterday but before you run off to make a post on reddit or the forums about how Gaijin's ruining their game hear me out because this is not solely their fault Trust me, when I heard about this originally, my blood was boiling. I was mad. But I took the time to talk to some of the people at Gaijin, which I do thankfully have the ability to do, as well as reading the forum post that they made on the matter, which I will be sure to link in the description for you guys to check out. And yes, it is still partly their fault for not warning us ahead of time. But the main component is the other company involved in this equation, Sony. If you know anything about cross-platform gaming, you probably know that Sony is a stickler for allowing it for reasons that make sense only to them. This attitude is what has caused the situation by basically forcing Gaijin into a corner, so to speak, if they want to enable crossplay at all. And this was echoed in the answers that one of their store team was giving. I'll be sure to link that in the description. Thankfully, it does seem from looking at that post on the forum that Gaijin is attempting to make 
it possible for us to buy stuff on the PC store in the future. But as he says, and I'll try to put that up on the screen whoop, over there, it's too early to say anything. Now I encourage all of you who play on console to share this video and spread this information. Hopefully as a community we can help Gaijin's efforts by putting pressure onto Sony. As console players, we've always gotten the short end of the stick when it comes to War Thunder, whether it be bad optimization or being severely hindered in event grinds. I remember back to the Tiger Tiger grind and I would have had that tank if it wasn't for how much we got shafted in terms of that grind. But at the end of the day, we all love to play this game. And if anyone's going to mess it up, let's leave that to Gaijin. They're the experts at that. So please join me and let's try to help them help us. Whether that be by sending Sony a mature email asking them to reconsider the deal they have with Gaijin or any other way you can think of to apply pressure to them in favor of Gaijin. What we don't need to do right now is scream at Gaijin or Sony like children since that's just going to get us disregarded and it's going to make things worse. But who knows? Maybe this could serve to help change crossplay on PS4. Probably not, but sometimes the smallest thing can make the biggest impact. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'm sorry for making you sit through another boring video of me uh, sitting in front of a cone this time. I'm going to try to not make this a regular thing. I was not planning to make this video, but it just sort of this came up, and I felt like as one of the very few PlayStation creators who does stuff on War Thunder, I felt like it was kind of my responsibility to make this video because you guys don't really have a voice and I understand that that's frustrating. I've been in that position. I know exactly how you feel being that same person not that long ago. I'll try to leave any links that I can find in the description so that you guys can contact Sony as well as the forum post that I mentioned before where you can go and ask Gaijin any questions if you want clarification or maybe you have something that I didn't mention in the video that you want to ask them directly. Please though, do be civil. We don't want to get them frustrated with us because that's just going to hurt us and make it harder for them to help us. And if you did enjoy, please consider checking out some of my other content or even subscribing to join my cone cult. <laughs> I hope to see you again.